Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet a heart. So for this, pick any color you would like for your heart and start with your magic circle. Then inside the magic circle, we are going to work 15 double crochets. And for this tutorial, you will need to know how to do a double crochet, a half double crochet, and a treble crochet. If you need help with any of those stitches, you can check down in my description below for my videos on how to do those stitches. Once you have your 15, I'm just going to do a quick count to make sure I haven't missed anything. So to get started on row 2, we're going to start by chaining 2. And we're going to work a double crochet in the first stitch. In the next stitch, we are going to work 4 treble crochets. In the next stitch, we are going to work two double crochets. And then we're going to work four half double crochets. Ignore that. I didn't mean to do a single crochet there. We're going to work four half double crochets down the row. So one, two, three, and four. All right, and now we're going to work a double crochet in this stitch. We're going to work a double crochet followed by a treble crochet in the same stitch. And followed by a double crochet in the same stitch because we're at the bottom of the heart. So now we're going to work four half double crochets up. Followed by working two double crochets in the next stitch. And then we're going to work four treble crochets in the next stitch. And then we are going to work one double crochet in the last stitch. And I've kind of pulled my work a little bit too tight, so it's just going to be a little difficult for me to get my hook in there, so just keep mindful of that. All right, so now we're done, but I'll show you how to get that nice heart shape. We're going to do a slip stitch into the center. So we're going to insert our hook in the center and just do a quick little slip stitch. And then we're going to snip our yarn after a cat walks by, of course. Got to have that. And then we're just going to fasten off. So then you can leave your heart with a little bit bigger hole, but what I like to do is pull my string from my magic circle, taunt, and it closes the circle part of the heart, 
and voila we have a heart now you would just end up snipping off your loose ends and there you have it how to crochet a simple heart if you found this video helpful please do give it a like and i really do hope that you have a happy heartfelt crocheted day